You know, I think what the president needs to do is, frankly, put his big boy pants on. He needs to acknowledge the fact that he lost, and he needs to congratulate the winner, just as Jimmy Carter did, just as George H.W. Bush did, and frankly, just as Al Gore did, and stop this and let us move forward as a country. And that's my feeling. I doubt he'll listen to me, but that's it. So in the days ahead, please remember, this is not about a, a victory for a single candidate or a single political party. This is truly a victory for our democracy. That may sound cliche, but today it is oh so true. The votes will continue to be counted until every valid mail-in ballot, absentee ballot, and provisional ballot is counted. So while some, including the president, continue to spew baseless claims of fraud, claims for which his team has not produced one iota of evidence, what we have seen here in Philadelphia is democracy, pure and simple. Our founding fathers who conceived this system just a 15-minute walk down the street, I know would be proud. 233 years after the Constitutional Convention, we stand at this convention center and proclaim the system still works, the people have spoken.